Hello, you have reached Rebecca Rizzo with the Red Hair Energy with Shea Rizzo, and today I'm going to show you my process. As you can see, I begin with pouring the two components together and mixing. You have to be very mindful of how you mix because you can't get too many bubbles. You'll see there um, behind me on the table is my respirator. I did forget to put that on during the filming of this, so please be mindful. Take care of your lungs. All these different colors I'm using right now are mica powders. Um, they have a very pearly, iridescent um, component to them. Um, they shimmer a little. You can see some of my poured designs here. Some of my ribbons that I have been awarded. Just some of them here. And now, here you go. Hi, everybody. Okay, so here I am. I poured a bunch of stuff yesterday. You saw my little quick video. Um, and I am actually going to be um, demolding these right now. So I wanted to make sure that you can kind of check this out with me. Um, bear with me as I adjust different things here. I've not done this like this yet. So, um, okay. So I'm excited. This is my first one that I poured here. Okay, trying to make sure that you can see. It's gonna be kind of a challenge. Okay, so here's this right here. Do you see this? Okay, so now we're gonna demold this. This is the best part. Okay. And then we just pull it out. See? How cool is that? Now you can't really see, there's a little bit of over over pour, you just kind of snap that off. I have a pile here because I end up using that for other stuff. But here is the finished poured piece. This will get this will get um, wrapped. You never know what you're gonna get, which is always exciting. Um, I also love the over pour. This over pour, we end up saving it. I'm actually making shot glasses that actually will have them in it. Um, but check this out. Okay, ready? I'll do this. You can hear my kids in the background playing video games. And check that one out. This is a really cool one. You can see this. This is pink and blue. It, it really does better when you see it in, in, in the light in real life, but you can kind of see how that is. Now this one, I had someone actually ask me about this today on what this is. And this is actually going to be a little, um, like a coin, um, like a coin purse. I mean, a coin plate or a catch all when you take off your lips, I mean, your earrings and all that good stuff. Um, so here we go. It's so satisfying if you've never done this. And you just pull it out. And now I have made a little coin tray. It's not as perfect as I like it. There was some bubbles that were in it. Um, there's some area that wasn't cured completely, which is okay because these are all things that we end up uh, learning from. Nothing is ever completely perfect. Um, and then I end up, I'm not sure why that happened, uh, but you live and learn, but this is it. I'll probably put some decorations or something on it. I got that. Now, I've got also little beads. I've done buttons in the past. You see little buttons? I'm actually working on my own little buttons. I've even got some that are really um, neat colors. You can see that. Looks really cool. Um, I've got those. I did this in one of my old, my last pours. Matches the buttons. Which you can't really see with the color. My lighting in here is awful. I need better lighting. Okay, and then these, this is actually a mold that is for uh, beads. So this is always really cool because then I get to make something out of them. I have a bunch, of, here's some beads right here I've made. These are all beads. So um, I actually can make my own beads and there's all color therapy and everything else. These, these, this whole batch was all about communication and balance and creativity and helping um, just kind of promote more happy vibration because we need that right now. So here, look at, it's a little bead. So we've got those, I'll finish taking those out in a second, but check this out. So this is gonna be a cuff bracelet like this. So, these aren't, these aren't 
completely done yet, but this is my cuff, okay? See the colors, okay? I have that one I made. I have this one I made, which is the light blue and the green. I don't know if you can really see those colors. You can't. You can't, but kinda, maybe. Maybe a little. Um, we're about to see this next one. So see how this goes. Again, I always save these little pieces. I have some um, shot glass. Here's a shot glass mold. So I've got all the little things stuck in there and I will end up pouring those later on. I also am working on something kind of cool. I am making my own chest set. So see my little chest set here? So I actually have a little uh, mold already set up. See the, the chest set? So that's kind of neat. I actually have to, um, you have to kind of take them and resin them together so that they make a piece. See, little chest piece. So that's probably one of the things I'll be working on too, which is kind of cool in my, uh, my nine-year-old loves chess. <laughs> he always likes to play with me and I suck. So uh, I don't like long board games or <laughs> long games. I like checkers. I like, I like shoots and ladders. I like um, those easy games. I love Othello. I love puzzles, those kind of stuff. But I sh chess, I don't know. Not that I, I just haven't played enough, I guess, probably. Okay, so now we're going to pull this out of the mold. This is always a little tricky. One of the keys is when you are demolding something that you're very careful not to rip or um, scratch the mold because if you scratch the mold, it's going to ruin it and you will actually see it from then on every time you pour something in it. And that's happened to me. I, I have a couple I didn't know that about. <laughs> um, so... Look at me. I need to put lipstick on. I need to organize my thing. It's still, my studio's still messed up from the art tours in October and not having downtime enough to put that as a priority to clean it uh, or organize it. But this is the, oh, I like this one. This one's really pretty. This is just two different colors. Okay. I just pulled it out so there will be a little bit of um, sanding that will be happening right here so that it's smooth, but you can see it fits. And now if you uh, have a bigger wrist, you're just gonna let me know if I do a custom order for you, um, or when you are making, if you decide to do this yourself, when you pour it, you would pour it, and instead of letting it sit just like this, you would actually open it slightly. So as it dries, it will be a different size. So you can also, um, if you have someone who has smaller, you can actually measure right here and you can put a little tape so it'll hold it firm there um, so that you can adjust the sizes. So here is another one I'm gonna go ahead and pull. This is one I like, it's orange and pink, which I don't know, I was having kind of a love affair with orange and pink. So, okay, so here we go. Take this out. Oh, I like this one. This one I'll definitely wear. This is two different pinks and an orange. I only added so much orange. You can see that? Okay, and again, I have to sand right here, but that's worn as a cuff. Then we've got these, these are gonna be earrings. I actually made these for somebody. I'm not sure if she's gonna wanna wear them, so we'll see. I'll end up making them and see. So you pull them out and these are gonna end up being a part of earrings. They can be a necklace too, but those are gonna be my earrings, okay? Got this too. It's kind of very. These are these are gonna be. Um, look at all the overpour. I love this part. Love it. Love it. It's so satisfying. Pull it off. Um, this is actually going to be a cuff link. So I'll show you. Here are um, here's a pair of cuff links that I made. They're brown. They're kind of copper. I was experimenting with them. So those are gonna end up being. Um, these right here are gonna end up being orange cufflinks because everybody needs orange cufflinks, right? <laughs> um, and then actually here's another pair I did. If you can see those, can you see those? Can you see those that there's stuff in there? In that, that is cannabis. Yes, that's right. That is cannabis. I had a dispensary who actually gave me some so I can play with it to see um, how they would come out, but looks kind of cool, right? It's kind of see-through. So those are actually for sale right now. But that kind of shows you what the cufflink portion would be. Um, but that's kind of it. And then I've got this right here, 
which is yet another. I was thinking about making these into um, into earrings. Those would kind of be neat, but I don't know if that's where they're going to end up because I never know where anything is going to end up. Um, everything's always so different, which I love. I love things being different. I don't like things always being the same. Um, and then I have this one. Okay. This is just... See, so now if I had scratched the inside of that mold, you would see that on there. So, and this I will be wrapping. You can look at, look at how my glitter on my hands. It's actually, um, it's all mica powder. So how these were colored is I actually used powder like this. You saw that mixed in. That's what you saw in this color when I mixed that. So I'll be wrapping these. Um, I also have some I did yesterday that you didn't see. That's a, that's one, similar to this one, but different colors. Again, it's hard to see the colors. I also have this, which I really like. Okay, and then this matches. So I've got that, I've got a lot I'm doing here. And then I also have just a plain, so I've got these, which is all the different color browns and then I'm gonna wrap that. So we'll see how this all turns out, guys. Um, thanks for tuning in. Again, um, Shay Rizzo here, Rebecca Rizzo, and I hope you liked it, um, and stay tuned. I'll be doing more. I'll probably do another pour again today um, just so I can kinda start some other projects. And then I might just organize, but probably not because I work well in chaos. Um, anyway, I hope you guys are having an amazing day, and thanks for tuning in. Love and light. Um, please go forth, spread your happy. Again, that's what it's all about, right? You raise your vibration and then other people, it becomes contagious and then they will want to raise theirs. So um, creating, I think, is one of those ways that we can change vibration. So instead of you thinking about all the things that you don't have and thinking about all the crazy things that are going on in the world right now, pick something and create it. Do something that will generate um, inspiration from it. And that's really kind of all, of, all what everything's about. If you saw anything here that you like that's interesting that you're um, thinking maybe you want to see where it ends up so you can purchase it, just let me know. Um, if there's different colors that you'd like me to see created, let me know that too. Again, thank you guys so much and peace, love and light.